All right, all right. I'm gonna admit it. Now that we're actually here standing on the slopes of the mountain with ski lifts going past and look at her breath. Ashlyn's breath is actually freezing in the air. Guys, I think I can finally say it. I am actually excited about snowy escapes. I was really holding my breath for a little bit there, trying to make sure that this was something that we really wanted to get into. And hello, random child trying to speak to us. That's really cool. Uh, we're kind of busy playing with our dog Chomper right now though, but good to see you. Let's go ahead and give Chomper all of the pets. Come on, Chomper, pets, pets, pets. Oh geez, he's so cute. Just look at him, you guys. It's our boy, it's Chomper from Red Lantern here in this big, beautiful new world here on the mountain of Mount Como Revi. Like, look at this, look at this. This is so much cooler than I thought it was gonna be. We can't even see the top of the mountain because it's hidden by all of that amazing, amazing snow and those clouds. I can't wait to be able to go on an expedition up there and see what's waiting for us, especially because there's like this new rock climbing thing we can do. There's all of these like slopes we can go up and down. We're gonna have such a fun time exploring this place and that's not even counting the kind of equally amazing bamboo forest that we left behind us elsewhere in Mount Komoribi. Uh, I think it's called Komoribi at least. We'll have to go ahead and see if the other neighborhoods carry that name as well. But this is so amazing. All right, I have to know. What does Iggy think? Igloo! Igloo, where are you going? Okay, I have no idea where Igloo is going, but she is here too. All right, Igloo, stay for just a second. That's, oh wow, that's really pretty actually. That's all I need is just for you to stay right here and introduce yourself to everyone. But all right guys, we're here. We are here with our brand new character, Ashlyn. So this is Ashlyn Hunter, or excuse, yeah, this is Ashlyn Hunter. I wanna make sure, Ashley, there we go. I knew I didn't add that in. This is Ashley Hunter, and she is here to stand in for our musher from the Red Lantern series. So many of you guys have been enjoying that on our Pixel Biology channel lately, and I have absolutely loved living out in the Alaskan wilderness with our own team of sled dogs. And I have loved it so much that I knew we had to do a crossover series when The Sims 4 Snowy Escapes actually emerged. Oh my gosh, let's make a snow angel. Are you kidding? Of course we're making a snow angel. Let's do this. Come on, Ashley. So this is our musher. She doesn't actually have a name or, you know, even an appearance in Red Lantern, but I loved playing as her so much and I wanted to be able to develop her character more. And most importantly, I wanted to be able to see what some Chomper and Iggy puppies would look like that I decided we're gonna go ahead and have a crossover series with her for our very own Sled Dog Saga Adventures. And yes, that's totally kind of uh, flipping around the name of another favorite series of ours where we do dog sledding with Dog Sled Saga. Yeah, now we're actually gonna have Sled Dog Saga and it's going to be all about the sled dogs. Well, and the snow and also uh, breeding sled dogs and trying to raise a really healthy, happy, and very successful team of sled dog puppies. So we're gonna be having a really great time. I can't wait to introduce you guys more to Ashlyn. And uh, I'm very excited to see if Chomper and Iggy will be able to work on that puppy thing soon. Oh, but where to begin? Okay, well, Ashlyn, for one thing, I'm glad you're having fun playing in the snow. Let's go ahead and let her... Let's let her do a little stretching and then build a snow pal because that's totally what Ashlyn would do. She is extremely adventurous and she likes to seek out new and exciting activities, which is a brand new skill that we actually have now. Or excuse me, a brand new trait that we have. Oh geez, this is so cute. We'll have to see where the dogs ran off to in just a second. But with Ashley Hunter, I actually named the musher from the Red Lantern Ashley after her voice actress, Ashley Birch, who is the same voice actress as Aloy in our wonderful Horizon Zero Dawn series that we have been doing. And she's the same voice actor for a ton of other series. You've probably heard her before. And I had so much fun with how she brought the musher to life in Red Lantern. I thought we'd go ahead and name our Sim after Ashley in honor of her. So Ashley, She's going to be carrying on the name that, or she's going to be carrying on the story of the musher from Red Lantern. 
And really, we don't know much about that musher, other than the fact that she loves dogs, she loves adventure, and she dropped out of med school when she realized that being a doctor just wasn't for her. Also, we know she's woefully unprepared for most things in life. We're going to be carrying that out with Ashley here as well. Ashley really lives by her big dreams. Basically, she dropped out of med school in university, and then she got yeeted out of the house by her parents. You know, if she wasn't going to be in med school anymore like they wanted, she might as well go ahead and make her own way in the world. So, Ashley here ended up adopting Chopper, who is a rescue pup, who's apparently having a great time playing out here in the snow. Oh my gosh, this looks fantastic. They look like they're having the time of their life. But she ended up rescuing Chomper while she was trying to figure out what the heck to do with herself now that she wasn't going to be in med school anymore. Oh, look, and now we have, like, a made a snow friend huge energizing boost. That is awesome. And uh, after we rescue, after Ashley, our character here, ended up rescuing Chomper Boy, well, she realized she really loved dogs. She loved going on these big adventures with Chomper, and she loved being able to see her furry friend be super happy. So when the opportunity came about to actually go ahead and adopt Igloo from a retired musher whose health was no longer going to let them be able to go dog sledding anymore, well, Ashley saw opportunity. So she decided to go ahead and adopt Igloo as well, and then, you know, since her parents yeeted her out of the house, Ashley was trying to figure out what her next goal in life would be. And since we can't actually do dog sledding in The Sims 4, unfortunately, we're going to go ahead and do a different kind of winter sport. And Ashley's big aspiration, guys, it's going to be... Oh, and now she's just shoveling snow for the heck of it. Why not? Her big aspiration is going to be to become a snowboard champion, which is hopefully going to give her a chance to spend lots of time on the snowy slopes since she absolutely adores sledding or sledding, skiing, snowboarding, basically anything to do with snow. Ashley is really into it. And she also loves adventure. That is one of the new traits that actually came with The Sims 4, adventurous. And, you know, for being an adventurous trait, the personality doesn't have a lot of description. It just says, these sims seek out new and unique experiences. So I wonder if that just means that she likes trying new things. And that will fit our character, Ashley, really well, I think. I also gave her the traits dog lover because she is a major lover of her dogs, ambitious because she wants to become a champion and just really good at the things that fit her. And she ended up with high metabolism because right now she actually has, let me see if I can find it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh geez, there's like lifestyles, there's voting to do. Ah, I'm just trying to find the woman's like, where did, wait a second. Where did, ah, aspirations, the right here. <laughs> but I went ahead and chose ambitious as a trait for her because she is going to try out the new aspiration that has also come with Snowy Escape as a way of exploring this world and tying in as close as we can. Here, go ahead and make another snow angel. And tying in as close as we can with things that are kind of like dog sledding, even if they're not actually dog sledding. We're going to imagine that her raising Iggy and Chomper and how famous she becomes as a snowboard champion also is as famous as her dog sledding team becomes. And so one of the big goals that Ashley has in life here is not only to go ahead and become a snowboard champion, aka a dog sled champion, we're just going to have to use a little imagination there, but she also is super adventurous and wants to conquer the mountain. She wants to conquer the snowy mountain of Mount Komoribi. And that actually requires becoming friends with other people who live in the area, which hopefully will be some of our Patreon's Sims and maybe some of your guys' Sims as well. And she needs to get friends and go on an expedition together. You can't do solo expeditions in order to reach the top of the mountain and discover what is up there. So she really wants to go ahead and reach the top of the mountain. That's another one of her aspirations. And she really wants to learn more about the Mount Komoribi culture. So we have one aspiration with the extreme sports enthusiast. She's currently a snow student. This sim wants to explore Mount uh, Komoribi's wilderness and participate in extreme snow sports. And if we complete it, we get survival instinct. 
These stems all will always escape wildlife attacks unscathed, manage to avoid injury from skiing, snowboarding, and rock climbing more often than other stems, and have a natural resistance to inclement weather. So that would be extremely useful if we're going to imagine that Ashley is just going to become like the all out absolute extreme sports in the snow champion. And to complete these things, she needs to go down the bunny slope, she needs to use a vending machine or the computer to purchase a remedy or a deterrent, and she needs to use a Mount Komaribi info board. We'll do all of those things in a little bit here, but the other aspiration she's also going to work on as part of her goals for what we're going to be exploring and doing with her is the other aspiration that came with Snowy Escapes, the Mount Komaribi Sightseer. And for this one, this sim wants to explore Mount Komaribi's culture and experience everything it has to offer. And if we complete this one, we get the no reward trait, worldly knowledge. These sims are better at socializing during social events and enjoy ordering food from market stalls. They can also negotiate a discount at market stalls, which gives them an advantage over other bargaining techniques. So those are the two aspirations that actually came with the new Snowy Escape pan uh, expansion. I wanna say Snowy Escapes. I'm just gonna say Snowy Escapes. We've got three characters here. The dogs are also escaping over here. Whoa, over here to the snow too. Is it just me or are Chomper and Iggy already kind of making eyes at each other? Huh, I don't think we'll have to wait very long for pups. But that actually brings up the fourth major goal that we are going to be doing with Ashley, which is actually to become a sled dog breeder. Ergo, the name of this new series, Sled Dog Saga and raise the happiest, healthiest slug dog pups ever. And you can actually make a living off of raising and selling puppies, which is not something I would ever advocate for in real life, but since this is Sims, we can definitely have a little bit of wiggle room with that. So that's one of the ways that she's going to be trying to make money, other than trying to become a famous, like, snowboarder, which we'll <clears throat> say is related to her dog sledding skills. And then I also, oh, look at the little igloo. Iggy, what's up? She and she and Chomps are just hanging out. I love it. But uh, we'll also have to do whatever else we can to take care of the dogs and be able to take care of ourselves. Ashley is really kind of getting over being tossed out by her parents. So she didn't become the doctor that they really wanted. Hopefully she can at least have a happy life here is her goal. But all right, so that's Ashley and that's Chomper. Oh, I need to introduce you guys to the, the Chomp Chomps. Hey Chomps. Can you go ahead and maybe, here, we'll have Ashley start working her way down here because the dogs have already found something and she would be absolutely concerned about making sure her pups are okay. Oh, hey, I think they really found something. What's this? Hike back to snow base. Wow, I don't know how they got down here, but they definitely discovered a few things. Thanks, pups. This is why we definitely need to bring you guys along on all of the big adventures. But I'm really looking forward to this because I know a lot of you guys really wanted to see Igloo and Chomper end up having puppies. And instead of doing it in a Sims 4 create a pet adventure like we have with our random labarkatory challenge, I wanted to start a whole new series so we could really see them raise a family together. Oh, Chomps, don't be too intimidating, okay? But Chomper here is our male. I hope I made... Ah, one second. <clears throat> You guys, like, saw nothing, right? Chomper here is our male. He is a hairy hunter who is adventurous and friendly. And Igloo over here is our female, <clears throat> who is loyal, adventurous, and friendly. And hopefully we'll be able to get the dogs to really work together. It seems like Chomper is having a little bit of a hard time warming up to Igloo. I mean, you know, puns totally not intended. And then I wonder... Yes, okay. Do we need to do anything with you, Chomps, or are you feeling pretty good? Oh, hey, and we're feeling happy for the fr fresh, frigid air. Nothing like pure, fresh mountain air. Oh, I think Ashley's just having the time of her life out here. Let's go ahead and give the dogs a little TLC, though. All right, look. Chomps, you really need to be friendly to Igloo, okay? Hey, and we dug up two treasure maps. That's really an awesome way to go ahead and start these adventures. Oh, you guys! Oh, she's reacting to the cute moment! Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cute! Okay, we're gonna have so much fun. Can I take a Simstagram picture of them? Here, I wonder, in fact, is there a way... I have to remind myself. Hang in there, guys. 
Okay, add to Instagram story. You know what? We're gonna Instagram story that moment of our pups being cute together. I love it. There we go, you two. Hopefully you guys will get along. All right, and then, yay! Okay, and we're on the road to fame having submitted that and having gained 12 followers just then. And that's actually one of the goals. Encourage, what, we can already encourage to mate with? <laughs> okay, look, I think we at least need to go ahead and have one day, oh, we can send him hunting. What? Okay, let's praise, cause he was friendly to Igloo. And then let's go ahead and give them a couple treats cause they're probably pet pets. We need pets and we need treats. Look at these two, I'm really proud of them. But yeah, we, we need to like get used to this world a little bit before we just let the dogs go ahead and start having puppies. We haven't even settled into the house that Ashley just spent, you know, her entire life savings very impulsively, just like the character from Red Lantern, on trying to get to. Oh, is this like a snow warning? Hike back to slope base. Yay, we just became friends with Igloo! Are we friends with Chomper too? We are friends with Chomps. Good. I wanted to make sure that both of them would be pretty content. And feeding them treats should go ahead. Let's give another pets. Should go ahead and keep these guys pretty happy. But all right, so that's the goal. Breed sled dog puppies, have a great time, possibly foster some puppies in the future, become a famous snowboard champion to stand in for being a dog sled musher. Uh, and fulfill the Mount Kumarabi unique aspirations we have. And by becoming a famous snowboard champion, there's not like a snowboard career you can do, but I'm hoping maybe if we go ahead and we work on, why do we have negative reputation? What the heck is that about? Maybe it's because our dogs are running loose. But I'm hoping if we work on her fame, I want to try to get Ashley like starting to do videos, to have a drone follow her around while she's snowboarding and skiing. And we're going to try to work her fame up and use the fame as the metric of if she is a successful quote unquote snowboard champion or not. And who knows, maybe being able to take lots of pictures of adorable little sled dog puppies is definitely going to help with that fame thing. But fame is always a fickle beast, so we'll have to go ahead and see how that works. And by the way, apparently there's like lifestyles now? This came in the new update and I haven't had a chance to see it yet. So lifestyles are an expression of a sim's behaviors and habits over time. Oh, cool! There's so much stuff! Okay. So there's a bunch of hidden ones. There's workaholic, health food nut, adrenaline seeking. <gasps> what? Okay. What is this? This is like what I have been waiting for, for for, wait. And there's also, okay, that's the reward store. All right, all right. But like, let's look at outdoorsy. So if you unlock the outdoorsy lifestyle, Sims living in outdoorsy lifestyle prefer to be outside, taking in the fresh air. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, prioritize doing activities outdoors rather than indoors. And the lifestyle effects, various benefits when doing outdoor activities, prefer to be outside, uh, increased work performance in outdoor careers, tense when spending too much time inside rather than outside. Um, wow, there's a whole bunch of hidden things. I like the adrenaline seeker. I feel like that's kind of Ashley. She's also woefully underprepared for most things in life, if we're going to base her off of the character from Red Lantern, the Red Lantern series. Adrenaline Seeker is a lifestyle for sims who seek out danger, adventure, and sometimes even drama to ride the wave of an adrenaline rush. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, explore dangerous locales, get into fights, woohoo outside, work in a dangerous career, and seek out excitement in all of its forms. Just be, sh just be sure to avoid the mundane. So then you can get various benefits when thrill-seeking. You avoid boring conversations. You do not panic during fire and find it exciting. Increased work performance in dangerous careers. Can talk about new adventure and enthuse about thrill-seeking with other sims. You can fight for the rush after hav having gone too long without a thrill. Bored when performing mundane interactions and socials. And tense when going too long without excitement. Something tells me we'll probably unlock, unlock that with Ashley. And in fact, let's go ahead and kind of work on something with Ashley right now. Look, she's the kind of character, or excuse me, the kind of person where she shows up in a whole new place. Let's give a little brush and a little pet and a little hug to Igloo. 
But she is the kind of person where she gets kicked out by her parents, adopts a couple dogs to get over it, takes her life savings, buys a small house already furnished in a country that she's never been to, and then on the first day, instead of prioritizing going back home and being able to go ahead and get settled, she absolutely has to hit the slopes before we even manage to go ahead and like buy a dog food bowl or open up the new house that she's got. So we're totally going to try that out. Oh, and look at Chomps! He's just taking a little snooze down here. I think the dogs are going to be okay if we leave them there. And then let's go ahead and we're going to go... Wow, how do we get back up? I don't even know how we got down here. That's just amazing. Let's try going on the bunny slope. I want to do that. Like, which one's a bunny slope? Let's see. Change to regular stance. Go here. Build... Go skiing, skiing on easy slope. Is this a bunny slope? I think that we're... It's a bunny slope! Go down the bunny slope. Let's go snowboarding. Continuously. Let's go snowboarding down the bunny slope and complete that. Because that sounds amazing. Alright, come on, Ashley. Live up those adventurous dreams. Oh, look at that. Igloo! Good girl, Igloo! I can't wait to have some pups. I guess we're kind of adventurous. Chomps is asleep. Oh, jeez, what happened? Oh, I think she like slipped on- Oh, she slipped on the ice! <gasps> That's a thing that can happen? That is so cool. And look at Chomps! He is just passed out in the snow. This is so fitting. Oh, hey, he actually got us a treat though. Let's go ahead and open it. He dug something up. All right, we've got to find out what Chomper managed to find for us already. Wow, look at this big trail. And then we're absolutely going to go snowboarding one time down the slopes like come on ashley's not gonna waste time she really believes in making sure that you make the most of every day sure she hasn't even unpacked her bags in fact i'm pretty sure she lost her bags and the dogs definitely probably could use a bath and somewhere to you know warm up but we've got keys to some house in town some house somewhere we'll look at it when we can hey and a dog toy nice we can almost pay for the dog treats that we ended up buying. Yeah, and she has no job right now. No job, only a little bit of fitness skill. I'm sure this is all going to work out fine. Also, I wonder how hard is it for her to be able to walk through the snow? All right, let's see where we go. And we're off. All right, Ashley, I will meet you back at home. And meanwhile, I'm gonna go on a hike myself to see what's around here. This is really pretty. Oh, I can't wait to use the tool mod just to be able to sprinkle like a beautiful like easel spot. Maybe a nice place for my Sims to do yoga because big paths like these are really fun, but they're kind of empty. It's like, come on, there has to be more we can do around here. Oh, hey. Apparently there is more we could do around here. There's like a little shrine. Wow, oh, look at the frozen waterfall behind there. Wow, I can't wait to see what this place is going to be like as the weather really warms up. I wonder if it just stays permanently snowy year-round. But there's lots of places that we can sneak in, like a bush that they could sleep in, because I don't think Ashley minds if she sleeps out in the cold from time to time. Ooh, and I think I might even have, now that I think about it, a igloo-shaped doghouse or an igloo tent. And we could put a few of those around. We'd just make a rule that, like, it would have to come from Ashley's money, I think. Oh, hey, and she made it to the slope. All right, bunny slope time. Come on, Ashley, let's wrap up your very first day here in a whole new world and a whole new life. Ashley got a loner snowboard from the lodge for now, but it feels a little janky and doesn't feel that great. Purchase a new snowboard for her in the Bits and Bobs vending machine for a more comfortable ride. Are you kidding? Of course we're going to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too fast. I want to be able to watch you do this. Hey, look at her girl. Tackling that bunny slope like it's nobody's business. This is awesome! Not bad. A little sore on the rump, but not bad at all. 
<laughs> but all right, guys, we have now acquired the snowboarding skill. Ashley has found a new hobby, snowboarding. She can do beginner runs on the bunny slope or easy slopes, as intense as preferred. Continue building the skill to unlock more advanced runs, along with the ability to do fancier tricks and unlocking new gear. Sweet! All right, I'm sure this is going to work out really great for her, and I'm sure there's somewhere she can take care of her needs. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I wonder what else we can do over here before we head back home. But all right, right now, time to take care of some basic needs. But you guys, thank you so much for joining me as we begin this adventure. Normally, we play with our Sims 4 green family for everything Sims 4, but I just felt like this was perfect. I want to see Iggy and Chomper be able to build up a family. I want to see how their musher would take on the challenges of being able to explore this new land. And I'm really excited to dive in with somebody who is so in love with the snowy world and all of the snowy sports that go with it and her sled dogs, that I think she's just the perfect fit for Mount Komorabi. Ah, Komorabi even, ah. <laughs> but all right guys, if you could, do please leave a like for Iggy and Chomper and their fingers crossed future puppies. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.